in our last video we saw how you can create x and suite uh, ios for the ios devices and in this video we will be creating a small example uh, which explain how you can use extensit ios into your react native project so in this app we will be going uh, to create a text input in which user enter his name and there will be a button when user press on the button there will be an alert uh, welcoming the user and when user long press on the button uh, he will be providing option uh, to clear the text input or to cancel the action so for that create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and i already opened the ios simulator you also need an ios simulator because it only works with ios devices so first of all let me just import the necessary components let's say text XNC tires touchable opacity touchable opacity is important because we need two events on press and uh, on long press so touchable opacity has the props of on long press first of all let me just create a state for the name By default, it will be an empty string. Now let us create the action sheet. Let's say on long press. Action sheet is dot show tires with options now we provide the array of options first of all the cancel and clear text this will be our options now destructive button index as i mentioned in uh, our last video in this time clear text will be our destructive button so the index will be one cancel button index will be zero we can also provide user interface style let me say dark you can also provide tint color title or message etc now but button index if button index is zero we will do nothing because it's the cancel button else if button index is let's say one which means clear text then we simply set our name back to the interesting okay so now let us create a text input first of all we need to import the text input text input let us provide styling for that style start input On change text text whichever is the input we will be storing this into name state let us also provide 
placeholder enter your name now touchable opacity and that will be creating a view then view will have a text let's say submit let's provide style to this style start button oh, let me just save this as you can see it works fine till now let me provide styles for the input first of all the background color let's say yellow margin let's say 20 padding of 20 let me just save this let me provide width let's say 90 percent let me also create a button style okay so background color let's say pink Adding of 15 so this will be our back uh, button let me just return to this as you can see touchable opacity works fine so on press event we simply create an alert title will be welcome hello then the name welcome to our app so this will be on on press and on long press we simply call on long press this one so let me just save this okay, let me just uh, provide this in error function okay now it should work perfectly so i have created a state for the name uh, whenever the user enter uh, his name over here it will be saved in this then we created on long press so when i long press on this uh, we'll be providing two options cancel and clear text when i press on cancel nothing will happen it will just disappear and when i press on clear text the set name will be clear let me provide value otherwise we will not see any changes value will be name let me just save this let me let me just toggle the keyboard let me enter my name Bridgen. Okay, so when I press on submit as you can see hello Bridgen welcome to our app and now if I want to uh, perform other actions I simply long press and we have two options 
clear text and cancel if i press on cancel nothing will happen uh, the action sheet will just disappear let me just again if i press on clear text as you can see it will clear the text and if you noticed clear text is in red color because it, it, it is our destructive button and cancel is in separate group uh, because cancel button index is zero we have provided that so basically this is how you can create uh, your action set for the iOS you can provide as many as options as you want again hello Tony welcome to our app and if I long press on this we provided with two options so this is very helpful when you design an app for iOS you can provide multiple uh, button options on a single button and map to it to single button so that's it for this video thanks for watching it